Very recently, I got uh, a text message from our newsroom itself saying that apparently uh, the Melbourne outbreak uh, in Australia, where there is a large population of Sri Lankans living there, was the result of a Sri Lankan uh, going there and infecting uh, people in Melbourne, whereas they were pretty much doing okay and almost about to come out of the lockdowns and this whole scenario. And we, uh, someone from here, went and infected and put everybody back in, <laughs> you know, back inside their homes. What's the truth there? Because I understand he's not a Sri Lankan at all. There is no Sri Lankan aspect of it, even though the media keeps harping on the fact that uh, there's a Sri Lankan guy coming up and infecting Melbourne people. Yes, uh, so so he's not a Sri Lankan. You you have gone through this, uh, you know, yes. the data of this yes, person, yeah, right? Yeah, so yeah, you yeah. can talk. Yes, uh, uh, so, so uh, it, it is, I can confirm it's not a Sri Lankan. Uh, it is a, a foreign national going who went through the Sri Lankan airport got on board of a Sri Lankan airline flight because you have tra mm. it's a transit passenger in other words uh, who went to Melbourne and was found to be infected with the Delta variant now I think uh, because the Delta variant or the so-called Indian variant yeah, is, is prevalent in so many countries in South Asia and uh, in India Bangladesh uh, Maldives, Nepal, I mean, you just look at the, uh, our whole South Asian area, I mean, it's just the case numbers are increasing and not just South Asia, so it looked like Thailand, Vietnam, which were COVID-free, yeah. I mean, they were doing beautiful earlier, but because of this in introduction of the Delta variant, they're not doing so well. And even Singapore, uh, they have got, gone into a lockdown because of this Indian variant. So, and if you look at the uh, Singapore story, that's quite a sad story, where the virus went into the community, the Delta variant, through fully vaccinated individuals. Mm. So, uh, so this is something I want to stress, that you think once you're vaccinated, you won't be transmitting infection. If you are vaccinated, you are protected. So I am vaccinated at As the an moment. Individual. Yes. So I am vaccinated at this moment, so I am protected. So that doesn't mean that you are protected. You see, if you are not vaccinated, so I could That means the virus can still be in, in you, you and you'll and be transmitted. And you, I can infect you. So that is exactly what happened in Singapore, where the airport uh, workers were fully vaccinated. They had Pfizer or Moderna, the vaccines that people believe are the best. And they trans did transmit the Delta variant home. So, uh, you know, uh, about this Melbourne uh, incident, you know, you said uh, he's a transit passenger from Sri Lanka, uh, got into one of our aircrafts and went to Melbourne and did the damage. It begs the question, is our airport safe? Uh, what was uh, Did he get it from our airport? Did he get it in when he was in Colombo? And did he carry it from Colombo to Melbourne? So what's the story there? Yeah, that's a good question actually. So uh, as you know, we've been doing a lot of sequencing and we've been doing as much as sequencing as possible. So, as far, uh, so our last sequencing, uh, we put the report out on the 9th of June and uh, that was for white, the viruses that were there until 3rd of June. So as of 3rd of June, okay, we did not see the Delta or the Indian variant in the community in Sri Lanka as of 3rd of June. But we know, as I, as I just said, all the countries around Sri Lanka have the Indian variant or the Delta variant. I mean, massive epidemics due to that. You mean there is no leak of the Indian variant here in Sri Lanka? Uh, as of 3rd of June, uh, we know it's 14th of June, so things could be different. So we are currently, I mean, we sequence uh, in a very regular basis because we know that the f there's a, there are a lot of uh, things that happen in, out in the sea. The fishermen communicate mm -hmm. with each other. There are other routes that uh, people and goods come into Sri Lanka. People exchange things uh, in, in the sea. Uh, so, so there are a lot of other news that uh, a virus can come to Sri Lanka. So although Sri Lanka didn't have the Indian variant until 3rd of June, since then... This uh, person passed Sri Lanka before Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, he, that was 8th of May. So that, that means uh, that person actually, uh, he didn't get it from Sri Lanka. He, he couldn't have got it from Sri Lanka, yes.